guys, Bertie Divrick here, and welcome to Volts. Um, today, I am showing you <coughs> the particle accelerator tutorial. Um, you'll notice I'm talking differently, I don't know why. Um, so, so, what I meant to say is, you will notice that I'm in a different setting for my Volts tutorials. That is because building particle accelerator twice is a bit of a bit annoying and a bit difficult. So, I just thought I'd show you mine on my survival world instead. Um, this is mine, Ewan and Kyle's survival world. Uh, so I'll take you on a little tour one of the days of all the machines we have. But this is the particle accelerator, and this is a very complex piece of machinery which is can go very wrong, as you can see here. So actually, it appears to be broken. Uh, yeah, that shouldn't be happening. So let me fix that. This glass is not right. Whoever put that there wasn't me by the way, uh, hasn't done that right, and if I've run out, I apologise. This wasn't actually intended, in case you're wondering, oh, it's going to break it again, is it? Oh no, that's good. Uh, so, uh, this is the uh, park author, and this basically, like I just said, and it kind of just points itself out to me, that it's da dangerous if it goes wrong, but it's brilliant if you want to create uh, antimatter and strange matter. Uh, now, I'm not sure what other uses that matter has probably got other than making bombs uh, and red matter for making uh, red matter explosives. So, it's a very long and big machine. I don't know why I'm not w w sprinting very fast, probably because of how heavy my power arm is. But anyway, um, I'll go and turn some of it down as we speak. So, this is a very complex machine. Um, it does require a lot of materials. Uh, Sorry, I keep pressing the wrong button here. Okay, there we go. Uh, uh, I think it's my battery size, isn't it? It might be. This has to go up, I think. Okay. Um, sorry, I really am losing track, and I should be probably um, talking less. Uh, okay. Um, pardon me for being uh, for losing concentration. So it does require. Um, Electromagnetic, electromagnetic glass, which is very expensive, and it also does require a particle accelerator block, which is very expensive. But I'll go into that when I'm building it. So basically, um, they require a lot of power as well. I'll quickly show you now. I've hooked it up to my fission reactor and to my fusion reactor. Um, so they're working. It is working perfectly fine too. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's made quite a lot, 15 milligrams, and I've left it on, on by itself, but which, um, now I'll show you how to build it, I have to go into my other world for now. Okay, I'm in. By the way guys, I'm sorry about this video's quality of me not concentrating enough, I really should concentrate a lot more, but I just today, it's not been my day really today. Uh, so, you can power this differently um, to the way I've powered it, now I'm going to add to this time, just to power it, I am going to use uh, ultimate energy cubes, I don't know why I was getting a couple out there, but I'm just going to use energy cubes, um, so I'll just probably build it here. Okay, I've just went into my single player world and counted how big this has to be, and it's very big. Now, I, I'm not sure um, if you can reduce the size of it, but as I know, so far this is the one that works, um, so I'm going to start off with this block here and go along 71 I believe it was so either I'm going to skip this or just make it fast forward so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Okay, there we go. Uh, so there's the there's your baseline. Now as you can see that is huge. Um, <laughs> This is at the moment. This works for me. I know people. I know you can probably make it smaller. I know you could probably condense it by half. But this is what works for me. Now I'm going to show you the quick condensed way of building it, so you get to use less um, glass and less electromagnets. magnets. But you want to place it on your particle accelerator here, like this. Basically, you only need one of these. Uh, but this is what's going to fire out the little particle. Uh, you can hook this up now if you want. So I'm going to hook mine up now to um, a lot of battery boxes. Let's just see. You know what, now I'm going to make it come in from underneath because, yeah, okay, so a lot of battery boxes, or energy cubes, as I sh probably should call them, Ooh. that should do, I can also extend it if it doesn't work, let's just get a quick lever on here, Ooh. there we go, so, oops, shift right click, there we go, um, so there we go. 
And so this is basically your baseline for it. So now you want to do use the glass. So the recipes for these, by the way, I forgot to show these. So the electro magnets are just mortars surrounded in bronze or mortars surrounded in iron. Oh, I find the bronze one a bit more efficient, uh, but you can choose whatever method you want. And then the electromagnetic glass uh, is just an electro magnet next to glass, and that's pretty efficient too. So if you had an ME system, it'd probably be easier. Um, so it just makes it all for you. But you know, you can probably make it by hand, probably on servers. So basically the glass you want to just place it all the way around the sides. Now I won't show them um, four sides. I'll show you the Okay. And then you want to make it corner. And then you've got to do that for the inside too. So I'll just skip it so I can get back. Okay, so that would have taken a bit of my a bit of my recording time. Um so then you use the same for the insides. So basically you've got to do this all the way around and so I'll be back with you once I've done that. Okay, that took a while. Um so there you go there is the uh rim well you could say a rim of the park accelerator and now the final part is just to do the same for the top but using normal electromagnets again and i'll quickly show this that's what i'm recording now also you probably won't build it well it depends actually what you could do is it's best to build them on the ground i say in case of disaster because if you build it above ground and it does happen to start a red matter explosion which it already will because mine never hardly does but um, yes, it hardly. Uh, if it does, then it'll do it underground, and it's a bit more controlled. It won't suck your house into it or your base. So I also, when saying that, build it a bit far away from your base, uh, and maybe store some of your stuff in drives that are quite far away from your house. So basically, I'll just finish this off very quickly. Okay, I'm back. So that didn't take as long. So what you can do um, now, I've done it the quick way. But uh, what you can do is you can build uh, the, the electromagnets like this. So use more electromagnets, but you can do this, and it's less li likely to get holes. Because what I find is whenever I log off and then log back onto a world with my pack accelerator, a hole appears in it somewhere. I don't know if that's just a chunk glitch or because it just explodes when I log off and it creates a hole. But that does that. So so now you've finished building it, now you can get down to uh, easily um, using it. So all you need out of the Atomic Science mod is some empty cells, and then you can use um, some sort of fuel, so it can be any block you want. But I am going to use end stone for the pure reason it may, probably not, probably just me being, just confusing it, but I think it seems to make more, more milligrams. So, basically, you can turn it on now. I hope this works, by the way. Okay, so your particles start going around like this, like my other one started to. And I'll shine out the side, so that's pretty normal. So, they don't always work, I'm going to be honest. It's trial and error. Um, I'm sure there's better videos than this. You can always use an auto builder um, if yours doesn't work. I set mine to 25, the radius, but it makes it like, like this kind of size. Well, it seemed to work at the size when I made it this size, so there shouldn't be a problem with it. And it has to be an exact square, I'm sure, for it to work. Let's just see if this makes a lap. Uh, if not, then we've broken it. If it doesn't make a lap, then it's not going to work. Okay, so it's made a lap. Uh, that's good. Uh, Okay, um, sorry, I was just reset my recording. So basically, it's going to go around and it's going to, its velocity is going to increase as you can see here, and it's going to increase and hopefully it won't explode um, if it gets too fast. Mine used to do that, my old ones. I had a world full of just different size black accelerators, uh, but this one looks like it could be working. Uh, so once it gets to a hundred percent, it will make antimatter milligrams. But if you've watched the Yogs cast do their vaults. Um, when this gets to 100, they instantaneously get a little cell here of um, this 125 milligrams of uranium, uranium um, antimatter. Sorry, but I won't do that. It has to fill up on this bottom here where it says antimatter. Uh, it has to fill up um, to uh, to 125 to we get to be able to get 125. So it's it's going to hit 100 percent now. So. When it actually wants to do it. So as you, hear, you can hear, you hear the antimatter explosion noise. And as you saw there, eight, eight milligrams went into the machine. Now that only uses that only uses up two parts of my uh, end. Actually, no, that, that, that only uses one block on my end stone. So if you had a hopper, which I do, and you have a hopper like say here with just lots of um, 
materials in it, or you could have like a hopper system linked up to like your junk. You could just literally just throw throw junk stuff like dirt, just junk dirt, and it'll just keep creating antimatter, and you you have it lots of it. Now I won't do this now, but a way to create strange matter I've found. The only way I know up to now is to put something in the machine, like a mob or a block, and that seems to create one. But a good way of doing it is uh, I tested this out purely by well not oh, how I lie I say purely um, by experimentation and a bit of by chance I put a red matter in the middle of it and set it off like directly in the center and set it off. So when this happened, at each mid at the middle of every single lane there was about. 20, 20 strange matter veils just lying there. So that's a really easy way to get strange matter. I think it's because it tampers with the antimatter. Pardon me, I was getting a drink. It's not, it's, it's not my day to day for recording, let's just say. It's not my day to day. Um, I'm really thirsty. <sighs> okay. So you don't. what's with this, you don't have to make any materials using this complicated machinery. Um, the only thing that's complicated really is the particle accelerator block, which I forgot to show you the rest before, by the way. Sorry about that. And that is that. Now that is very expensive since you need four elite circuits which require two advanced which both which will require diamonds but in the end that is only <coughs> one two four six eight diamonds sorry about my stupid counting skills um, eight diamonds and if you were willing to save up for this you know you could get them. So once you've got uh, 125 milligrams uh, this is one thing you should never do just a quick tip never throw it on the ground because what it'll do in a little while, you gotta leave it for a few seconds, it will explode. <laughs> like that, and that really shot the life of me, by the way. And it will explode worse if you if you got if you've got dirt. But um, luckily, I'm in just old stone here, so that's good. <laughs> that really shocked me. I almost spilt material on my computer screen. That would have been the end of Bert TNT Freak. Oh well. Okay. Um. So yeah, so that was only 125 milligrams. So you can imagine what a one gram does. I'm gonna go and do it over here in case it just wrecked my palate, etc. Q. Now I found this out because of Ewan. And like, no, not really. Um, no, I, I found this out just from throwing it around. Also, it happens on the Yogscast. As you see, it's a bigger explosion. It happens on the Yogscast uh, on one of the last episodes, but they they don't realise it's when uh, Lewis gets killed. I think. Because Duncan pours lava on him and he drops his inventory and he just blows up and Duncan wonders why he blows up. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's what happens because he had, he had antimatter in his inventory. So anyway, so once you've got 125 milligrams of antimatter, you've got to save up until you get a good a good eight of it. So I'll just keep it. Oh yeah, that happens too. If you throw it directly out of your if you throw it directly outside of your inventory, um, it blows up. I won't do that again. Okay. So 64 or 120 because I can't bother getting heat out. You know what? So you need eight. All you need is eight, and what you do is you can put it in any recipe on the uh, crafting table you want, and it'll make a uh, one gram of antimatter, and that's your one gram done. Uh, and you need, I think, eight to make um, <coughs> eight of them surrounded by. You, you surround, sorry, you surround it and you in eight of those, and it makes a, a antimatter bomb. And then to make red matter, you surround antimatter in strange matter. But I doubt you'll get to the red matter as quickly as you probably would hope. But yeah, that's that was uh, the particle accelerator tutorial. Sorry about some mess ups, uh, you know. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.